I'm a fire starter. A twisted fire starter. Thank you so much for joining us on Good CJ's first cooking show. Yeah. It's a fun, it's a fun day. We got a fan working some air, so it's not miserable yet. He was gonna but bring it up. It's because I'm glowing. You are. And that ain't my glory. It's the glistening. glow of the goo. Oh. While you're dealing with what I just said, go ahead and like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Click uh, the little bell icon, that way you get notifications. But in the meantime, today we're gonna be cooking something delicious. A little oh, side dish, wow. maybe a starter. Uh, something to accompany your tacos or whatever else. We're gonna be making like a fire roasted, griddle roasted, corn guacamole. Guacamole. So on that note, can we please ring it and bring it? So and go. It's an A note. It's a B B major. All right, we're ready. Got my heart rate up for some guacamole. So we've got my 36 inch Blackstone air fryer combo. I've got this preheating on low and I've got my air fryer. I got this one down here. Um, this is like a, actually I'm gonna go ahead and get it down to like medium, medium low because we're gonna be toasting and warming up some chips here in a second. Mm -hmm. So while all this is doing its thing, let's get to our don't delicious. You wanna, don't you wanna go fast and furious? Don't you wanna go real hot? It's already at smoke point. That's what I'm saying. Oh, well. Yeah, how about you let me do this? Somebody in the comments said, uh, I think it was yesterday, wow, this show is starting to look a lot like Nate's other cooking show. Because of your what back. What a compliment. Because of your back what a seating. Compliment. No, not because of my cooking, because what you won't shut up. What a wonderful, lovely compliment. No, that's not Would not there be lovely. something wrong with it? Is something wrong with my show, CJ? It's that you won't shut up sometimes. Hey, so um, if you guys- On my own show? If you guys are diving into your avocado and you sure want to get the pit means. out. Like, I would, No, you're almost there. Keep going. Hey. What? Is it cool if I go ahead and cook now? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, um, a fun trick, if these uh, seeds are stuck in there, if they don't just like pop out, you can get your knife. Just give it a little stab, and then uh, boom. Probably go a little harder next time. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We're gonna be actually heating up some of our guacamole. Some, our, our ingredients are gonna get a little toasted. This is a great. Toasty! We're gonna be doing a little bit of olive oil and we're gonna toast it with the skin on right uh -huh. here. Now this is not necessarily um, something you have to do, obviously. Uh, I have made guacamole for years and it's always fresh. But, but this we're is, not cooking it, we're just gonna- We're kind of just changing just changing the flavor up a little bit. You actually used a great analogy about like butter. Like whenever you're like toasting butter or warming up butter and it gets brown, it kind of gets a, a bit nutty. <laughs> It's a bit nutty. Now we've got some fresh corn. You can use bicolor corn, sweet corn, just traditional yellow corn. We're gonna toast that on our griddle top as Dang. well. Ethan, should I do it here or should I just go over to the griddle and cut? Uh, I cut on the cutting board. Cut oh. on the griddle. That way when it falls, it falls it's to where it's ready to cut. go. Yeah, so. Sorry, Ethan, sorry, Over, you, overruled. I was, I was actually hoping that you would <laughs> have the right answer, but you chose poorly. You chose poorly. I'm gonna go ahead and just start slicing off. Nice. Whoa! Well, well, it's fresh don't, corn. Don't force it. If you feel like you're forcing it, it's because you're too you're close to the cob. Get, get, get some cob action yeah. in there. It should come off relatively easy. Well, I think I was that. See, look yeah, at you were getting, all up in that. Getting all up in that cob. That sounds weird to say. Cob, cob. What character was named Cobb? I don't know. It's in my head. So once you get it down, I'm gonna go ahead and get a quick seasoning of some coarse black pepper and uh -huh. some kosher salt. Now, let me, just for giggles, let's, let's have a look at our avocado real quick. Whoa. Yeah, look at that. Whoa. See? Whoa. That's all you need, Whoa. look at that. All right, dude, look at that. I'm feeling great, let's go ahead and pull this off, man. I'm, whoa, we got <laughs> dancing, we got, we got dancing, Ooh, dancing, dancing my way. While my avocado is cooling, I think I'm gonna throw one more thing on the griddle top. And you're I, just maximizing flavors. Now that Look is a freaking you. awesome tip because the more you caramelize it, the more sweet it gets. So your lime juice kind of loses some of that tartness. It's like a roasty sweet lime. It's really, it's, almost, it's a lot of fun. Almost elevated, if you will. Almost, not quite. Now, <laughs> now we've got some red onion, or if we were on Betty's set. Don't do it. We would consider this. Aubergine. Purple onion. I personally think the thinner and the smaller bite 
when it comes to this, the mm -hmm. better. Um, I'm not just a huge, huge fan of fresh onion. And so if when I add it to my flavors, like my salsas and other things like that, if it's fresh, it's gotta be a small bite. I don't know why, that's just the way I like to do it. When you have- I don't know why, but I believe him, yo. I believe him, yo. I don't know why, but I do. Okay, okay. thank you, thank you so much, Ethan. Whoa, was he counting? Yeah, I was. Oh, yeah. A little color? A little bit of color. Set that right there. Okay. Let's check on my limes real quick. Again, we're cruising, guys. I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give that 60 more seconds, and while I wait, I'm gonna go ahead and ring it and bring it. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Yeah. Because we have not done so, hey, and we are cruising, you know my we friend. we haven't done? There's always two cups in here, but there's three people. Ah, Ethan. I feel like we should... You want to find somebody to give your cup to so we can cheers with them? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, uh, the That's... trifecta is complete. Quickly, quickly, quickly! We are cooking <laughs> for folks, and they are hungry, so they want their delicious appetizer. Dude, what did I tell you? 60 seconds, and it was ready to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and kill. Truly, a caramelized sugar in the wine really does alter the flavor. It totally and does. Maximize. It's beautiful. Speaking of altering the flavor just a little bit, I've got my chips. You don't yeah. have to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and warm them up. This just kind of takes uh, your basic chips and salsa or chips and guacamole game up to um, an entirely new, I wouldn't say elevated because I hate to say that, <laughs> but it's definitely like if you got on an escalator with your food and you started moving up, um, that's what might happen. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, pop out my avocado here. Those really are lovely. If you've never seen a slightly toasted avocado. Now you have. It's lovely. It's, it's quite delightful. Now, while I've got that there. I'm, I'm here, I'm staying here with the walk. You just stay right there. I'm going to go oh, ahead come on. and throw in, I'm gonna leave a little bit for a garnish at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna let that guy hang out there because he didn't want to go anywhere. Where are you going? Nowhere. Where you going? Nowhere. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get my red onion. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw that in there now. It's up to you how much red onion you want to put into yours. The uh, color and the crunch is nice. Yeah, but I don't want to over. Personally, I don't like to overload it. Okay. Now we've got our tomato. Toe. Ah, me, you didn't want to mash the tomato. Oh, definitely not. I um, and you know what? It's not that I. It's not for a flavor situation, but I like my tomato to be sliced. Um, into thin bites as well, mm -hmm. and it's not because my lack of desire for the flavor of fresh tomato, but it's more so for the small bite, like yeah, in every bite. That's how I prefer it. So yeah, like a little nib. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. He wants to hang out. Well, well, he's just look. He's your friend. Hey there, little fella. Oh my god, dude, get out of here. He's jeez. Let's make a movie about him. Bring and bring it for that guy. All right. Freaking zipper. Zipper. What's <laughs> From Chippendale. Oh, jeez. It's yeah. been a hot minute since I've watched <laughs> Chippendale. Rescue Ranger Ch 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 Chippendale! <laughs> Alright, Ethan, do you like some heat? C? Did you say C? C. Okay, so I didn't realize that uh, ah. CJ's first cooking show was going to be um, bilingual, bilingual. But, little known fact, Ethan spent a couple years in Albuquerque as well as a young lad. Uh, but you probably don't remember that because you were itty bitty Monfrey. All he remembers is C. <laughs> C. Mock. C. Ing. C. Bird. <laughs> Ethan, come on, dude. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. Ooh, Dang, yeah. This is super colorful. Yeah, it is. It's really gonna be tasty. Now, let's see if my lime is cooled off. Yeah, my lime is cooled off plenty. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze in. Oh, dude, if you've never. Uh, put a lime on the griddle, it changes like everything about the squeezing mm. game. It gets real easy to squeeze. You get lots of lime juice. What about the cilantro? Is that your I seasoning? was gonna save that. Um, I would mix a little bit a little in. Bit. Yeah. You do love cilantro. It's like confetti, it's like a little fleck of gorge. A little fleck of gorge. That's the technical term, is that yeah, right? Yeah, science, science. It's, it's just, just science. It's science. It's science. Now we're gonna do a uh, not over the top amount of salt. Um, but we've got a lot of ingredients in there that do love salt. I'm gonna yeah, do some, the tomatoes. some pepper, and then the last little bit is garlic powder. Now, I like garlic powder in this situation because I can get an even distribution of that garlicky flavor mm -hmm. all throughout. It'll, not, uh, it'll liquefy in the avocado and the tomato. And not everybody really likes that giant bite of garlic, but they mm -hmm. do love the taste. Everybody likes the taste. 
Can I ring it real quick before we play? Please plate? do. Okay. Because, I mean, we have been hustling One, and bustling. Two, three. Thankfully, my trusty mate, Ethan, reminded me. He's like, what's the tequila for? I'm like, to drink? Oh, also to make the sauce. So we're yeah. gonna make a very simple sauce to drizzle on ours right here at the very end. Basically, we're gonna take a dollop or two of sour cream. We're gonna get a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we're gonna thin this out with some tequila. It's gonna be really delicious. Gonna add just a bit of our tequila lime seasoning and finish with some lime juice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the sauce in a bottle because this is gonna help my, I'm not gonna say elevated, but risen presentation. presentation. Dude, it's happening. And it takes a little bit of time. It can be messy, but not too messy. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna look beautiful. It's gonna be worth it. Now Wait, let's it's gonna look what? plate. It's gonna be what? average, but it is time to plate. So let me go ahead and kill my air fryer real quick. Oh, how are those chippy chippies? We got chippies, we got lots of poutine. We got lots of poutine. We got chippies, we have chippies, we got lots of stuff You said that you found me a cutting board, right? Really? Bad Whatever. guy in a little, little coat. coat. What's happening? Now, I do have a little bowl. Whoa. For our Dang, a wooden guacamole. serving platter, a fluted white bowl. Shut up. Beautiful elevated guacamole. All that right. looks that texture looks fantastic. Yeah, it, it does. It does. I had a little bit of garnish that I wanted to do here at the very end, kind of uh, to streamline the beauty, happening. kind of show everybody what's what's happening, what's involved in here. Dude, do you ever use queso fresco? Oh, queso fresco is money. If you've never used this, it's very um, brittle, I guess is the only word that I it's a crumbly like, cheese. It, it's a crumbly cheese. And so I'm gonna crumble. Heck yeah, it's got some a good salt this. content too. Now, a couple more little steps here. I know guys, it's like it's getting over the top. No, it's not. It's getting stunning, CJ Frazier. Yes, yes. Throw a little pinwheel. What in the world. And then I'm going to give it one last drizzle of the toasted lime juice. Oh heck. To kind of send yes. that through the roof. I'm gonna give that a light drizz. And then the last thing, just for the final pop of color, we we've got some of our tequila lime seasoning. That's really what sets it off Beautiful. right there. Let's chip this up, because why not? On to the chips. Dude, this is stunning. This is fantastic. All right, buddy. And that is how you make elevated fried corn, corn guacamole. guacamole. What did you say? Mine was better. Was, when I was At very average it, level, but thing. it's risen to another level but with maybe an elevator. You Perhaps you happen to be You're somebody with a hot air cook. balloon you and it gets you cook now. up into and the air so you can see a whole lot of other things going on. But elevation is definitely not the situation. You're welcome. <laughs> Dude. I gotta say, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this, man. You should. You should be. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get down. To business, as they say. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> we need a little guy to get up on all of that goods. Mate, is oh. it? Oh. Can I? Mm. <laughs> That's the end of the show, guys. Have a great week. I just saw something happen in your brain. You ever seen Ratatouille? You know when yeah. you, the fireworks go off? Watch. It's good. It does taste roastier. Yeah. It's fantastic. My job here is done. Moving on to more important affairs. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time. For CJ's favorite comments of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. This is the part of the show where I screenshot some comments from you, the viewers. You they write might them, be, we read them. They might be naughty, they might be nice. This is definitely gonna be a definitive moment on what your Christmas is gonna look like. Starting with number one. This one I snagged off of your show. M. Campbell says, Nate, for a supposed chef, you know nothing of food safety. Chief. <laughs> you don't chief. handle cook it's spelled chief. Yeah, for supposed chief. You don't handle cooked Continue. fish with the same glove you used for the raw fish. We love your show and recipes, but your food safety habits mean I would never eat something you cooked. Yeah. Too much chance of getting yeah. sick. Yeah. Take some hints from CJ and use tongs, or at least change the gloves. M. Campbell, <laughs> that was a great diss on Nate. Thanks, and chief. you're right. He should learn a thing or two from me. Ring that bell. Uh, yep. No, mm. no, 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 don't. Oh. How's that for safety? 
<laughs> like, you made me do it. Oh, this next comment comes from the most wonderful lady that I've ever known on this earth. Roxanne Campbell, Frazier, oh, my mom. Mama Fraser. She says, CJ, you are amazing. Your potato looks so yes. good. Yes. My comment was, Mom, don't embarrass me in front of my friends. <laughs> I love you so much, Mom. Thank you. Aren't moms the best? Here's mom's a ring great. for all the mothers in the world. Mothers. You guys are the best. Mother Cheers love. to you. All right, let's do some rapid fire love, or the very least jesting. Uh, starting with AHG1358. Would have been better with fish. Mm, nah, dude. I agree. Her. Sandra, first time watching one of your videos. You rock. Thank you for the recipes. Oh, thank Sandra, you. thank you. Susie says, this is my first watch, and I am a big fan. Great vibes. Where can I get the omelet ring? Mm. I love you. I love that you're watching my show. Thank you. Go to blackstoneproducts.com. You can and find all kinds of good stuff. And Wally World. You'll love it. Jeff and Sherry. Lalonde? 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 Have you guys ever seen that video? It's on YouTube. It's an old one. It's that old guy. And it's like... The redundant bell ring brought to you by the Department of Redundancy Department. That was clever. Or was it? Wait, was it clever or Yeah, whatever. Uh, Juventino? Juventino? I'm gonna call you J-O. Uh, bro, CJ, your show is one of the best cooking shows I watch. Yours too, Nate. Haters gonna hate. You just do you, boo! Love the movie quotes. Now ring the bell, my friend. Cheers! Okay. Yes, sir! Look at that. Someone who knows humor and talent. Mm. This last one comes from Chuck. He's gonna bless us on our way out. Chuck says, another burnt omelet from a rookie cook. Mm. Mm. Practice before you, I think what you meant to say was post, but you said pissed. <laughs> so. Maybe you should practice for your hey post, Chuck, your comment. This ring is for you, my friend. Yeah, give him one, yeah. Uh, be sure to leave another pissed down below. <laughs> we read all the pissed. <laughs> Gentlemen and ladies, that is it. We are wrapping up the show. Thanks so much for hanging out. You guys gotta try this. This is like a dish that you don't have to do on the griddle, but if you do, the flavors just go freaking through the roof. For this recipe and a ton of others, go to blackstoneproducts.com. We got a lot of fun stuff coming out. Check out Todd's show, Nate's show, Betty's show, but this, mon frères, this is CJ's first cooking show. And Ethan, we like to cook and... Quote. Get replaced or something? Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, there's your new camera guy. He's coming up. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye. So come on, everyone. It's CJ's first.